in this problem, we have this expression, the log base 8 of 9. And we want a decimal for that. We want to compute some good approximation of its value. Unfortunately, my calculator does not have a log base 8 button. It's got a log button, but that's common log or base 10. It's also got an ln button, so that's natural log base e, but it does not have log base 8. Hmm. So we need to change the base of this logarithm. Lucky for us, there's a formula for that. You can change the base uh, to a new base by just taking uh, this new base log of this number over the new base log of this number. There's a couple of little restrictions there. The, your original base can't be 1, and the new base you're putting it to can't be 1, but that would be a pretty rare circumstance anyway. So um, let's see how this works in this case. Here's our, our formula down here. We've got the log base a of b, so that's the log base 8 of 9. So I'm going to put the log c of 9 over log c of 8. And c here, I'm just going to use 10, the common log, because that's on my calculator. And usually we don't even write that. So if you see just log, it means log base 10. So I'm not going to write it. So this is log base 10, common log of 9, divided by same base log of 8. And that we can punch into the calculator. And, and get a decimal for it. Let's try that. So I've got 9, and then I'm going to hit the log button, and then I'm going to hit divide, and then 8, and hit the log button, and then press the equals, and that'll make the division actually happen. OK. And we're supposed to round this to the nearest thousandth, so this is 1.057. So this equals 1.057. So that is how to use the change of base formula for logarithms to compute a log in any base.